Well, you know, the term digital assets, and when I applied it directly to mining, I, I thought about uh, an ore body. Sure. And there's waste and there's ore. Sure. So the asset has a lot of waste, but you're trying to find yeah. the, the grade. And, exactly. And you need people that understand it absolutely to really tell you the valuable information absolutely and i think if you can like we're looking now to the future of building tools that that can excuse the pun mine that data yeah yep. for what is the sweet spot of information and if you look at other sectors who are um, more mature than the mining sector well, that's one of the things that they do really well is they mine the data that yeah. they've collected so there is waste in there yep. um, and there is parts you throw away but if you can get to the core of what you know, is of real value, then essentially there is power in that and there is trend data in that. One of the things that I um, want to start a campaign around is um, if like, I think you get the behavior you reward and I don't see the government or the insurance sector rewarding mining for trying to step into this digital um, pool, right? Yeah. My question is, for example, for insurers is, well, if a mining sector is collecting this data because they now have the ability to collect the digital asset and they're putting technology in place that removes workers from harm's way, reduces risk, they're operating safer. Why don't they get a cut? Why don't they get a reduction in the yeah. cost of the premium to insure that site? If they did that, then mine sites would be more encouraged to adopt and take more risk in taking on new technology. There's a, a, an added return on Exactly, yeah. exactly. And I think, you know, there are very few, well, maybe very few is not a fair word, but there are only a select group of um, organizations that have elected to be first in yeah. on a lot of technology. Um, a phrase that just, you know, to me was a <laughs> shocker was this whole, I want to be, you know, first to be second, Yeah. Um, which I get in terms of risk averseness and, you know, shareholder value, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but at the same time, if everyone does that, it's very difficult for innovators to move forward and actually apply innovation. You need it. Like I tell our guys, they build anything and they tell me in the lab it works. Nothing is working until it's been underground, you know, because <laughs> yeah. underground does not cooperate. Yeah. You know, it does not want you there almost. It's, yeah. It's not the ideal. Exactly, exactly. Exactly. So, so I think that, you know, all of those things really wrap around the digital asset. I think recent changes the government's making in the uh, health and safety act are a step forward to encourage the adoption of technology. Yeah. Um, and if that rewards a mind by saying I can be compliant um, by using the technology, the health and safety elements, again, you, that's a reward and that should encourage investment, which is what we really, I need as an innovator. Yeah. And I think that everyone benefits from that, both at a site level and, and, and within the industry itself. So. Mm -hmm.